Okay, so now I'm ready to do the reverse painting uh, for my Andy Warhol style pop art portrait. So here's my Sharpie drawing on my clear sheet. I have six colors of paint. You can use six or fewer colors, no more than six, please. And um, I don't want you, I actually squeezed out a little bit too much paint, a dime size, a little bit of paint for each color is all you need. And then if you need to get more, you can. And then you need a paintbrush. Um, I have a larger one and a smaller one. Um, the larger one for painting bigger spaces and the small one for painting small spaces. And I have a cup of water and I have a paper towel to clean up any excess water or any spills. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over my drawing here. And so the actual marker, okay, you can sort of feel it with your finger. You can tell which side you drew on. So the actual marker is gonna be facing down and I'm gonna be painting on the back side of my paper here, my clear plasticky transparent paper. And I'm just gonna take my colors and start filling in some of the shapes and spaces. I want to also leave some of them um, transparent. I definitely want to leave your the background transparent so you're not gonna paint the space around. And you're gonna leave some spaces transparent. You can choose different ones for each picture. Like on one, I might leave the face transparent and on the other one, I might paint it. Um, on one, I might leave the um, jacket transparent and on the other one, I might paint it, not sure. Um, but I'm just gonna kinda start. And you might wanna plan your colors out in advance. I think what I'm gonna do is use warm colors on one um, so like orange, red, yellow, and then cool colors on the other. So like pink, blue, um, green, okay, cooler colors. Um, so I would say use, if you use a color on one side, don't use it on the other side. So you want the colors on each half to be totally different, okay? So don't repeat your colors from side to side. So I'm just gonna do a little bit for you to see and then I'll turn it off and finish it off camera and then show you what it looks like when it's done. My black lines are gonna show up when I flip it back over again. So I'm just gonna paint all of her hair blue. Gotta try to stay in the lines of the overall shape. I don't wanna make the ear blue. I'm just making the hair blue. You'll see why I'm painting over that line in just a minute because that line is inside the hair. It's like a detail within the hair. It's not a separate shape. So watch, you can see when I turn it over how the reverse painting works. So the shape is blue. Um, and the lines are still there. So that's pretty cool. So all the hair is gonna be blue. Whenever I'm painting in a shape, I like to kind of go around the edges first more carefully. So I'm gonna like trace around the ear and I'm just using the very tip of the brush. I'm just dipping the very end of the paintbrush in the paint and I'm holding it back a little bit far. I'm not way up here on it. I'm holding it back and I'm just like lightly with little quick strokes outlining my shape. And now I'm gonna use quicker, larger strokes to fill in the shape. So see, when I flip it over, the outlines are still there and the hair is painted blue. I continue with her blue hair here on the other side. So we're doing non-realistic colors. I suppose if you wanted to keep yours more realistic, you could, and that would be fine. But 
but this is reverse painting. So you put the lines on first and then you do the painting from the back. People do this on glass, on plastic, and on plastic sheets like we're using here. Okay, so oh, a little bit more hair down here. So since I'm painting on the back, I don't have to be super careful about my outlines. I just don't want to go completely over them into another area. The area that I'm working on right now is the hair. So I want to just make sure I keep my blue paint within that area. I'm not pressing down really hard. I'm doing short little strokes. I'm going around the edge first. And then I'm filling in the space in the middle there. I'll demonstrate a little bit more. So maybe I'll do her lips green, because why not? So I, I uh, rinsed out my brush and my water, swished it around. I'm drying it off on my paper towel. And now I'm getting just a little bit of green paint right on the end. And I'm filling in that space right there. I'm gonna do some other things green. I guess I will do, I'll do her shirt green. It's okay if your brush strokes show. That's kind of a cool look, I think. I'll do her necklace green and her earrings green as well. Those are just little dabs of paint. Gonna go ahead and do rinsing my brush again before I switch colors. And I'm gonna do paint her jacket pink. So the whole area of the jacket is gonna be pink. So since this outline is just between two different parts of the jacket, I can go ahead and paint over it and it will still show up on the back. I'm just thinking of the jacket as one area and I'm gonna fill it in with pink. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording now, finish all my reverse painting and then I'll show you what it looks like.